Okay, uh... Can we go in here? No entry. It's locked. There's a silver keyhole. Oh, boy. Let me shoot that. Oh, look at that. More antidote. Wait. There's another door here. It's locked. There's a bronze keyhole. Of course. Oh? Are you for real? Okay, so... We're gonna have to go here. Did I read this already? Yeah, okay. Fairy tale town. Boy. Nothing. That's a waste of a bullet. Oh, look at all the shrooms here. Why do I keep getting soda cans? Is this something I can blow up or, uh... Nothing. What's this? <clears throat> 2106. That's a password if I've ever seen one. I think it's written in blood. Is it a code for something? Clearly! Hello? It's a little house. Is this a real door? I think it's locked, but there's no keyhole. What about that little post box? There's a bronze keyhole. Of course. Is there a way I can break those without having to use this? Oh my gosh. All I'm doing is wasting ammo here. There's a button. Oh, no, 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 I know. It's a bottle. Still nothing there. But I got some... A grenade! Haha. <laughs> it's a real grenade. I should be careful with it. Oh! Oh! Oh no, my health! Oh, triangles to... Uh... Wow. Spooky looking place. It's a giant mushroom. It doesn't... He doesn't look very happy. <laughs> Is this a door? I can't see a way to open it. Let me, uh... Go in here. It's a set of stairs. Oh boy. It's a newspaper. The Atlanta Globe, May 1986. Crow Country theme park opening soon. Oh? This place was supposed to open in 86? Cancel your weekend plans with the in-laws and grab your sunglasses. A brand new new theme park is opening just a few miles southeast of Atlanta. Explore Fairy Tale Town, Haunted Hilltop, and Ocean Kingdom at Crow Country, which promises a day full of fun and adventure for the whole family. The park is owned by one Mr. Edward Crow, a lifelong Atlanta local and landowner. Yes, that's right. It appears he named the park after himself. Not much is known about Mr. Crow, other than vague, ups, uh, unsubstantiated reports that he is exceptionally wealthy. Nonetheless, 
We look forward to seeing what Crow Country has to offer when it opens its gates this summer. Oh boy. Now look at the place. There's a hole in the fence. I can reach the edge of the water. Oh. Shotgun ammo. Yes. And where can I find the shotgun? It's a staff memo. So the eggs are going missing. I think the kids are stealing them. Luckily, it turns out you can use anything as long as it's about the right size and shape. It's weird, I'd assume, that the eggs were magnetic or something. But apparently not. Okay, so people have been uh, stealing me. What's this? Oh. It's been broken. I wouldn't know how to repair it. It's a wheel. I'm pretty sure it's broken. It doesn't turn. There's a strange me me mechanical swan head. Do I need to put something in its mouth? And there we go. I got nothing to use here, so I'm going back. How far does this demo go? I wonder. This just respawned. Okay. Oh, what was the... Uh, it's a wooden carving of a woman. She's facing the other way. Oh. There's a man right there. Sir, what happened here? What? Who? My name is Mara Forrest. I'm here to help. They attacked me. All I wanted was proof. <laughs> What's your name? Arthur... Uh, Arthur Moe. Okay. I just needed a better... A clearer photo. A photo of what? Who attacked you, Arthur? Those... Things. I don't know. Those people. They saw me and... All right, stay calm. You're bleeding quite bad. Oh, the guy's bleeding. What did you say your name was? Mara. Come on, I think we should take a look at your leg. I can't leave him like this. Thanks. I should help him. Still feel kind of bad. Come on, let's move you to somewhere safe. You don't look too heavy. Move Arthur. I'm guessing I moved him to my car. I moved Arthur to my car. He'll be safe there for now. Let's actually go back out there and get some more ammo, if we can. Oh, there goes the crows! How are you doing? I'm okay. You can be honest, your leg hurts pretty bad, right? Yeah, it's throbbing. Feels weird. And you have a headache? And feel kind of queasy? How did you know? The thing that hurt you, hurt me too. What? Not the exact same one, but still. Do I need to go to the hospital? Mara? Just sit tight, alright? You'll be safe in the car. Are you done? Can we leave? No, sorry. Why? What are you doing? I have to find Edward Crow. The owner? Mara, the park shut down ages ago. He won't be here. He's here. I have to talk to him. Why? There's something I have to tell him. Mara, I want to leave. I can't. Sorry. 
What the heck? We didn't run into any enemies, and yet she's saying that she got attacked by one. Was this before the game? I'm confused. <laughs> oh, my eye. My, my... Oh, my gosh. There. Oh, my gosh. And there we go. Critical. There we go. Smells so bad. It's covered in blood. Yeah, and now we're getting these guys. Okay. All right. Uh, hum, no, hum, no, hum. Uh, two one zero six. Two one zero six. Two one zero six. There's no zero here. It's a Polaroid camera. I think it's broken. Oh. It's a staff memo. The quickest way to Tolman's office is through the Fairy Pond area, right? Problem is... I forgot how to get the stupid tree fairy to move out of the way. I guess I need a code for the keypad. Then... What? I'm sure it was written down somewhere. Maybe in Crow's lounge. Okay, we gotta go to the guy's lounge then. Can't see anything through. Oh, that's because it's not real. Honestly, I feel silly for even trying. It's a fake window. There we go. Thank you for the ammo! Okay, that's Fairy Pond, and I have to somehow to get her to move. Okay. There we go. I needed that. What's this? There's a note on the floor. Tree Lady. 3184. 3184? Okay. Read the staff memos posted on walls around Co uh, Crow Country. In every save room, there is a book containing all the staff memos you've read so far. Ooh. Okay. 3-1-A-4. No! Oh, that was spooky. Hello. She turned around. I think I remember. You have to talk to her? There was some kind of phrase you had to say. I don't remember what it was, though. Great Fairy of Pierre's Pond. I think that was wrong. And I gotta look around then. What's this? I'm not allowed to smoke. There's an old cigarette machine. I'm not allowed to smoke. Why? Are you a miner or something? No, I know you're not.
Okay, what's in here? The place is abandoned, so you can smoke. Uh, there we go. Of course, it has to be in this place. It looks dank in here. That's some spooky music. Ugh. It smells so bad, like an infected wound. I feel bad killing it. But I feel bad leaving it alive, too. It's dead. What, was it a baby or something? Ooh. I'm okay right now. What the heck? Oh. It's a wooden crate. There's no... Uh, there's no tape to the lid. Ship to Marvin Trumbull. 1806. What was that? Oh, it was my tablet. Uh, 1806. Uh, Acara River. Power Brazil. South America. Six is zero uh, one zero zero two zero contents samples of geological interest. Oh, what, it's full of rocks. Each one is embedded with pieces of shiny metal. Is this a crate full of gold ore? Looks like it. Can I ask why the dig site access is that cute little house? What? Don't you think there's a chance that some kid would want to go looking in there? At the very least, let's keep it locked via the keyhole in the mailbox. Was this place built on top of something? The fire marshal was here this morning. She said the following rooms are due for inspection. One, Crow's Lounge, Northwest. Two, Model Railway, Central. Three, Utility Corridor, Southeast. Four, Submarine, West. Five, Crow's Office, Northeast. Six, uh, Wednesday, Underground. Seven, Crow's Lab, Underground. Lab? She also said we need to replace the Ocean Kingdom storeroom door. This place had to have been built uh, atop of something. Is this the lounge? What's that? It's a med kit. It's a bookshelf. Mining your own business. Ha <laughs> Mining your own business. <laughs> Economics of the mining industry. Joseph J. Carden. What is this place anyway? If you're using the D-pad to move, you can do a quick 180. Uh, you can do a 180 quick turn. Uh, down on the D-pad, circle at the same time. It's a vending machine. Come on, give me some soda. Now screw you. What's this? Tolman's Records. March 21st, 1988. Monday morning, driving to work. Boss calls into my car radio. He doesn't normally do that. Something has obviously gone wrong. Intruder alarm going off in the second unit. Boss thinks someone is down there. Get to work. Check the security cameras. Someone's down there. 
He's standing right by the pool. All security doors down to the pool are locked. Check security records. Doors untouched since 6 p.m. on Friday. Alarm has only just been triggered. I turn on the intercom. Try to communicate. No response. But I can hear the sound he's making. Something is wrong. His clothes don't fit him. Something is very wrong. <clears throat> oh boy. It's a cabinet. There's a keypad down here. Uh, what is that for? It's a ring-bound book. It's a collection of staff memos. Ah, there's something wrong with the ventilator and the ma ma ma. Oh, I see. Okay, this is the save room. It's an ashtray. I'm surprised this whole place hasn't burned down. It's a letter. State Court, 185 Central Avenue, uh, uh, SW, what the heck is that? Atlanta, Georgia, I think. 30303, United States, legal summons. Dear Mr. Crow, I am writing to you in relation to the incident which occurred within your theme park in July of 1988. As you know, a 15-year-old girl by the name of Elaine Marshall was injured. The incident occurred within your pr uh, premises and within working hours. As such, the Marshall family is holding you personally responsible. Your presence is required in court. We expect to hear from you immediately. Sincerely, G. Williams. State Court. What's that? It's a bottle containing an antidote. Give me that. It's a fireplace. The fire is crackling softly. Staring into the flames, I feel something. It's a curious mixture of hope and dread. Maybe everything will be okay. And maybe it won't. Oh! I could save! Oh! That's cool! Okay, I'm gonna stop real quick. I'll be right back.